Oh yes, a very good morning. Thank you so much for keeping it the buzz, UG, and uh, welcome back from uh, the weekend. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and I'm back with another round of stories making headlines in the media. Well, today we woke up to the sad news of uh, the death of Ambassador Dr. Hassan Galiwango, the former director of finance and administration. He's been Uganda's ambassador in Sicilis, and he's also been a husband to Mbale City Woman Member of Parliament, Honorable Koni Galiwango Nakayenze. Ambassador Galiwango becomes another government official to die outside the country, and this time around in Nairobi, Kenya. I think this big man is the very first government official to die in office this year. Uh, the Honorable Priska Mbaguta, who died six days ago, and Lady Justice Elizabeth, both had retired at the time of their death. You know, so horrible Galiwango becomes the very first government official to die in office this year. May his soul rest in peace. Well, in other news, uh, there has been reports in the media indicating that the president of NUP, His Excellency Bobby Wine, is not in good terms with his leader of opposition, the Right Honorable Mathias Simbuga, and uh, we were still waiting to confirm what such letting in the media. However, Horrible Joel Senyonyi recently in an interview said that most of what such letting in the media is propaganda. But uh, arguments and uh, disagreements are part of any levels of leadership. So, you know, the media shouldn't make a big deal out of it. Elected leaders have brought um, work that must happen, work that they must do at different levels. MPs, LC5 chairpersons, mayors, councillors, and so on and so forth. Sometimes there can be a feeling that uh, those particular elective positions are not doing the most that they should. And uh, it can be, you know, a properly seated argument in, in one way or another. We need to do more at different levels as members of parliament, LC5, mayors, councillors, and so on, using the platforms that we have. We must be able to do a lot more, okay? So sometimes our supporters or even within the party, they can be feeling that uh, some more needs to be done on this platform, using this particular platform, you know? And then all of us, not just these elected positions, you know, as a party, we must be able to do more as our supporters, you know, uh, there must be a lot more. Everybody has got a part to play. Each of us is like a cog in the wheel. Yeah. Again, sometimes some of you sections of the media, you, you get excited over I don't know what. Then you begin to come up with things. And now he's going to be fired tomorrow, tomorrow. At 9 a.m. you're going to hear another announcement. There's a new one coming in. And then you begin to throw names around and, and so on. Yeah, because that's what sells. I was in the media for 14 years. So those are things that excite people when you throw a headline. However you know, misconceived or unresearched it is, it causes a bit of excitement. Well, there you go. Uh, that is Nakawa West Member of Parliament, Honorable Joel Senyonyi, who is also the spokesperson of Bobby Wine's camp, NUP, speaking on the rumor that there is a rift between his president, Bobby Wine, and the leader of opposition in Parliament. Well, I'll keep you posted in case something else comes up. <laughs> Yes, as usual, the big man is Haji Luzi Omsomi Wedua. Call him on that number on your screen for more details. Well, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula, and uh, thank you so much for keeping it the buzz, UG, always. And uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.